to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to stylish niger youtube channel i actually don't take it for granted thank you so much for following so if you are new to my channel this is the first time of you coming across stylish niger youtube channel i will appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then you can also hit on the bell on the side to get an update whenever i upload a new video so that's just like um, basically the essence of hitting on that bell so when i post a new video you are going to see it be among the first persons that will see it and you can also follow me on all of my social media platform instagram and stylish niger Facebook, Stylish Niger, and then Pinterest at Stylish Niger. So all of these platforms also, I normally share notifications of my videos. Okay, so today I'm just so excited. I'm going to be showing you how to, okay, how to cut and sew an illusion corset. So this corset is like the simplest and shortcut to sewing a corset using a mesh. This is a mesh or a tool. So this transparent is a mesh or a tool. Well, that's what we're going to use. So you see, you could see the picture that I have up there. So this kind of corset, that's just like the easiest way. And it is very simple. It's just like a shortcut. Let me just say, a, I don't know the right word to use to sew a corset. It's very simple. So even as a beginner, you can actually pull this off. That's just the truth. You can pull this off. So we're going to start. So for this kind of corset, if you are going to... So this kind of corset you are going to need a basic bodice because you will not want to cut your fabric and then it's going to be wasted so you are going to and in case you don't know how to do a basic and bodice or a body sloper i have a link of how to do this on my channel so i'll drop the link so that you can draft this out first and then from here you can just go and then move forward so i'm going to i show you how to actually do this right now so I'll just adjust my cameras and then let's just get started. Okay, so before we begin, I'm going to um, just list some basic materials I will need for this. The first important material is your bra cups. That's what we're going to be using. And then you need a fabric that you're going to use. That's your regular fabric that you're going to use for the dress. And then this is our tool or mesh. So you see how it is. So for this most times i advise when making this kind of illusion it's always good for you to use a tool that blends that actually blends with your skin properly so you could see this now you see how it blended it is it looks like my skin and then you are going to need trimmings you could use um lace trimmings or you could buy applique so for this class i'm going to be using trimmings from my that's from my leftover um lace so i'll just trim them out and then i'll use them to cover up all of the parts that i need to cover so now let's just get started now so the first thing you are going to do when making this kind of corset is you are going to take your bra cups like this so you see my basic body so i actually don't need to um put the dots whatever so what you are going to do you are just going to take your cup this is my bust point this is my under bust this is my waist and then this is my hip line so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come to those points like this. So this is the center of my, of my corset. I could do this. I could do it this way. So I'm just going to leave my regular one inch here at the middle like this. And then I'll place my cup. So while I'm placing the cup, I'm not cutting it out. Oh. I'm actually not cutting it out. So I just want you to take a good look at this now. So you see my cup is placed properly. This is my one inch. Or you could do half of an... I think half of an inch is better. Yeah. Let's do half of an inch. And then you place the cup properly like this. And then you see it's sitting on the under bust part. But I'm not cutting this out. So what I'm going to do... Because I'm going to, I'm going to be cut, actually cutting from the under bust line that's where i'll cut this illusion corset from so what i'm going to do so for the down part i'm going to create for the down part you can decide to create um any kind of down of your choice so you can decide to create a basque that's you pencil the down or you could make leave it straight or you could do the round basque so it depends on um what you actually want so for this what i'm going to do now i'm just going to extend this part this is my under bust i'll extend by you could do one inch or half of an inch the reason for doing this is so we'll be able to you use that half part to stitch 
that's to join the top to the down so i will do half of an inch so you could do one inch and then i'll just mark it like this and then so for this part so this is the part i'm going to cut out for the top part and then for my basque waistline what i'm going to do now i could just create it out right away or i think let me just wait let's do it one after the other so you don't get confused so what i'm going to do now cut out the top part so this is the top part of my body so this whole top we are going to cut it with this transparent net you see that's just the funny thing with this illusion and custard so you fold your your tool i would advise you to double it really so i'll just fold and then double and then cut out okay so i've transferred my pattern to my mesh now so i just want you to take note so there are some um, points that i made here i this part is my under bust and um, point so i notched it and then this is my dart line i also notched it so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to come to the center that's this part now that i marked um, half of an inch so this is the point so what i'm going to do from this point i'm just going to use my so this will go it will penetrate through so i just want to know where how to place my cups so that's just like so you could see it it is obvious so since i use half of an inch if you want to use one inch you can actually do that and then i'll open this up like this so i hope it is obvious that's for me to know how to actually place my cups so i'm going to take my cups like this and then i'm going to so this is the mark on it so it's white i think i should use a different um color of chalk so it will be obvious i'm going to take i'm just going to place the both cups like this and then the essence so this is the marked part so that's where my cups are going to start from that's going to be the distance between the two cups like this so i'm just trying to place them properly and then this is the under bust of my this is the under bust so you make sure that everything is in place so after placing them like this what i'm going to do now i'm going to mark i'm going to measure my bust point line make sure that everything is in place so i'm just going to use this so this is my bust point and then this is my under bust so i'm just going to adjust a little bit so that's my bust point and then this is my under bust so you could see it see the line of my the mark of my under bust so what i'm going to do now the next thing you are going to do you are just going to make sure that it is accurate when doing this or else it's going to be bent so what i'm going to do now i'm going to look for a way to secure this cup to my mesh so you can actually do this in two ways you can actually decide to cover your cups or you can actually decide to use to just and start working immediately and if you are going to cover your cups that's what i mean by cover your cups is you could use another fabric like this just to cover up your your bra cups so it will still make it um it will still make it to to be neat not really neat 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 as in okay i think this is better it should be more obvious so you could see them So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use my hemming gum to go and secure my, to secure my, or let me just pin them. So you just make sure that you pin on that point. So these cups they are a little bit bigger than the original ones that I used. Ok, 
okay so i have my cups i've not i've not added my neckline yet so i have my cups here already so the next thing now is how to secure them so you could do that in two ways you could the simplest and easiest way is just for you to tack them you use your needle and thread because you, you are still going to cover this entire part so you use your needle and your thread and then you tack the bra cups make sure that they are secure on your mesh so the next thing i'm going to do now so we have this let's just leave this on the side and then cut the down part okay no let's let me just leave it let's continue so the next thing i'm going to do now is this whole part now what you are going to do now you are going to determine okay for the neckline so I t let's just and go ahead with just a simple basic round neckline so you see how my corset is looking so to cut out the neckline so the back this we're just working on the front part and the back is just your regular um, back and bodies so I'm just going to insert my neckline so for this you actually don't need you are the one that will create the illusion effect on your on your mesh so you would create it so I'll just add a regular round neckline like this so we have this out so the next thing now is for you to start and start covering up your your bodies that's the the top part you just cover them with you use your gum so i'm just going to cut out so much and then i'll show you how to do that so for this like i said i'm using different pattern so for this for the neckline you can create it however you want so for this what i'm going to do i'm going to come like this to give it that illusion, uh -huh, you know, that illusion effect. So I'm going to create my, um, use my appliques like this. Just create it and then this middle part is going to be open. And then I'll create them around. So I'll just cut out as much as I can. Okay, so I have some of my trimmings already and cut out for my lace that I'm going to use. The next thing we're going to do now, you are going to cut out the down part. That's the down part of your the part that's the other damn part that will complete this part so for this you can like i said initially you can create it into you can decide to do your regular basque on waistline so for this i already have a video of how to create a basque waistline on my channel so i'm going to create the straight and um, basque here that's the the sharp and b basque waistline so in creating that basque it is like the simplest thing ever so this is my waistline that's where I'm going to be working from so I could just decide to come down this way and then from those points like this I'm going to slant this into this part like this so if it is the round and basque waistline so from those points like this I'm just going to give it like a curve and then curve it into this Part. That's if you are creating the round basque waistline. So I'm not going to make so much emphasis on that. So I'll cut this out now. So like I said, I already have a video of how to, to do this on my channel. So the next thing what I'm going to do now, I'm going to transfer this on my fabric. So I've transferred it into my fabric. So the next thing for this down part, if you want to add your boning um, cases to it, you can actually decide to do that. So you create your boning. So for like this, for something like this, I would advise you to do like three, just create like three boning uh, parts. That's three cases, like one here, one at the middle, and then one here. I already have a video of how to create a um, boning channels on your fabric so for those of you that are new to stylish niger youtube channel i have over 300 videos here on youtube so i've done so much on videos so that is why you see most times i'll just refer you to instead of start repeating and that rep repetition normally makes videos to be too long 
and then so that is why i refer you to just go on my channel and then watch it and then you will understand but i'm going to drop the link on the description box how to create boning channels so i've done that video also so in case you want to search for all of my videos on youtube what you do once you search stylish niger you see my picture and then you click on the picture it takes you to my channel so once you get to my channel on the top you will see home and then you will see videos so just once you click on videos you see all of my channel all of my videos all of them will drop down and then you can just have a feel there and enjoy yourself so that's that so what i'm going to do now for this i'm not creating any boning structures here so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to take this like this and then i would go and join them together so you make sure when joining this please take note this is the under bust line so in doing this what i actually did was this and cup i actually shifted it a little bit half inch up so you see it's not on the exact line so you could actually do that and then what i'm going to do now i'll take this and then i'll go and stitch it you can stitch it however I'm going to start it from the center like this i'll just take this like this and then i'll place it just um half of an inch below the mark point of my under bust line so i'll pin it like this and then i will go and stitch it close like this and then bring it and place it on the mannequin before we start arranging our trimmings on it it's very simple okay so you could see uh my corset so i fix the down part if it is a gown all you are going to do you just fix the down part that's your skirt so you just follow this whole process the whole process the whole idea is where you really need emphasis is from your shoulder point to your under bust point so whatever you do here you could use this for on a peplum you could use it for a gown so you add the down part of your your dress and then after that you place on your mannequin if you don't have a mannequin you can actually place on your table and then still go ahead so now what you are going to do now you are going to create your illusion effect however you actually want to create it so you take your trimmings and then you you are just going to start covering so there are some you could just cover the whole part of this and bust that's this and corset cup you could just uncover it all up and then you are going to make use of your gun so this is the gum that i'm going to be making use of all you are going to do you are just going to open you can actually decide to place them first and then see how it is looking you can buy bigger appliques and just cover it. just do it however so for this i'm just going to look for any way i'm going to work it out and then this middle part it depends on what you want if you want exposure you can leave that part and then just cover up the whole so you could see that the beauty of it is already coming out like this you cover up the whole of this part so i'm going i'm just going to go ahead and do mine and then i'll come back and show you how it is going to look like okay so you could see at the end of the day so these ones now i have actually i have not gummed them so i just used uh, my pins to secure them to see how it will look like so i think i would advise for you to pin them first to see how it will look like before you actually start pinning so if you feel you could see mine you see the chest part is really and fully covered so you just use this all of your applique to cover the top part so like i cover this part a little bit so it depends on how the illusion effect you want to create on your on the top part of your body so this is just how you actually cut and sew this kind of corset it is very simple like i said it's like just like the easiest corset whatsoever so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the like button if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much i'll see you in my next video god bless you